Hi, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay, so today is Tuesday, March. the second um march the first i don't even know what day it is anyway uh stefano will be coming home his last day of work is on the fifth there's a kitty cat hi frankie um his last day of work is march the fifth so i'm hoping that he'll either be leaving the sixth or he'll be leaving the seventh and coming up um so right now well i need to pick up something Right now, I am just cooking up an avocado. Let me just show you. This is this is just like a little trick from um, back in the day. Don't my, I just made a steak also. So here's my baked avocados. It just has a little bit of butter, just a little bit of butter in it. And then I have some Southwest Chipotle seasoning. These have no sugar in them, no salt either, which is really good. Um, so. When Stefano comes home, I will be going back to keto. Um, right now, I I eat keto, but not much because look at this. A butter pecan. Who, have you ever tried this, Kate? I can't wait. I'm making cupcakes. Um, but when Stefano does come home, we will be going back full 100% keto. Um, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses why I'm not keto or anything. I just didn't feel like, I just didn't feel like it anymore. I was, uh, I was kind of over the whole thing. Um, but we will be going back as you can tell. I have gained some weight back. I think I gained six pounds back. And every time I gain the weight back, it goes boom right in my face. So, <laughs> which, you know, that's to be expected. So I just recorded my first uh, Dollar Tree haul of the year because I haven't done one in forever. Um, and I did it from a new spot. It was in my kitchen, but it was by my sliding glass doors uh, because it was nice and sunny over there. My house is very dark. Um, right now we're extremely dark because it's snowing. <laughs> it's snowing yet again. Um, and oh, my clock stopped. Wow, my clock stopped at quarter of 11 this morning. So I have no idea what time it is. Uh, so yeah, I'll have to get some new batteries for that. But I have a couple dishes to do. Not many, just, just a couple. Here's some peppers. I love these little mini peppers. Have you guys ever had these? I like making like little mini sandwiches out of these. If you're keto, you'll know. Um, you just cut them down and you can put like ham and then a little bit of cheese. And then you can eat just a half. Sometimes I use tuna or egg salad. Very, very good. And it's quick and easy. Um, so Stefano had to, that's my lights. Stefano had to use the FSA money. Um, so we didn't lose that FSA money. So my wonderful husband, mm -hmm, always thinking, got Advil, um, got Advil, got Ad a leave liquid, Excedrin migraine. These are um, dual action Advil. I don't know if you've ever seen them because I've never seen them either. They're dual action. They are have. Um, they have acetaminophen in them also. So, um, but yeah, uh, he got himself his nose spray because he, he always has a problem because of all the dust where he works. And then he got the health kit. This is the health kit. This tells you how healthy and not healthy you are. And then he got some pads for the dog for Yaya because, you know, she she's old and incontinent. So we have to have pads. But if you could see... <laughs> This is all of it. I mean, this is all of it. It's like crazy how much he got. I don't even know where to put it. So we will not need any pain relievers for quite some time. And plus, I already have big bottles of Aleve um, because that's what I take, Aleve. 
so yeah so my avocado is done i just did a quick video and sent it to my daughter just showing her how i make my uh, my uh, grilled avocado i have another one this is kind of soft so i'm going to make some guacamole out of this real quick if you have an aldi's around you this is the best best it's like olive garden dressing i mean i make i make a faux a copy i'm not a faux a copycat olive garden dressing which is really really good but that is so good all right guys so i just wanted to say hello um i will probably pop on tomorrow and then i'll show you what i'm doing around the house i'm actually getting some things ready to go to goodwill i have so much stuff around here it's it's unreal my cat has a cold hi mikey you got cold yeah mikey mikey's a girl <laughs> because her brother benjamin was a boy and they were like twins twinsies so i thought oh that we'll name him mikey so but now mikey is a girl yeah is it mikey mikey's a girl hi mikey this cat would not let me touch touch her when she first came she likes to bite bite here apparent yeah hi mikey <laughs> All right, guys. So that is it for today. Yeah, I believe it's Tuesday. I don't even know what day of the darn week it is because I'm so confused. Um, and I have to tell you a story. Well, maybe I'll just tell you now. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I had to put Delilah back in her little kennel. She, uh, not a kennel. She's actually staying in the bathroom right now. So she has a big playpen that she stays in during the day. So, and then at nighttime, I put her in the bathroom where she has the whole entire bathroom. Anyway, so, okay. So Stefano and I had decided that we are going to get a puppy. Um, and he was letting me pick out the puppy that I wanted. And I found love with this little Maltese poodle. It's a multi poodle, it's called. Um, so I fell in love with her. She was, she reminded me of Mia, but she was the color of sassy. And so it was like the perfect, the perfect pup because it was small. Would, that wouldn't intimidate my cats. Um, and I want to, the only reason I'm not adopting right now is because of, um, they're adult dogs and I want this puppy to grow up with the cats and you know so that way I don't have to worry are they cat friendly or not cat friendly did they just say they were cat friendly so that they can you know leave the pound and stuff so there's a lot of things I have to worry about when it comes to getting a dog um I don't want something so big that it like runs over to the cats and things and I don't you know I don't want something extremely small either I <laughs> okay um the cat stepped on the remote but you know things like that so okay so anyway I went I went and I found um a breeder of the puppy that I I wanted and so everything was a go you know the, the website. website that I saw um, it was an established breeder. They say they only breed maybe once, once every other year, not every year. So they had everything all like perfectly written out and perfectly. They asked me why, like I had to fill out an application. They asked me why I was getting a dog, why, you know, why I wanted that breed, um, and things like that. So, okay. So then Stefano and I were talking and we're like, you know, there was like a different, cause it was coming from Ohio. So we had to pick out an airplane package. And so we got a pretty expensive package so that, you know, I would know that the puppy was okay. It was being watched, you know, on the flight and stuff. So, all right. So Stefano and I comes down to payment and they take this particular, um, pay like the, a particular pay you had to you had to use this app you couldn't use a credit card or whatever all right so you know so Stefano goes to do that anyway I'm looking around right and all of a sudden I look online on Facebook of all places I find the puppy that we're about to purchase I find her under a different name 
with a different breeder. So I go to the Better Business Bureau page to find, you know, out about this breeder and no information on this breeder whatsoever. No information. But a different name popped up for the city of Ohio or of, uh, Wyoming, the city of uh, Wyoming that they live in. So a different breeder popped up and they had changed their name a few times. So then I go down and I read the stories about scamming and what they do. And the, the first thing they say is if you see that puppy and then you see it on a different website under a different name, you know. So this person, I started asking questions to this person and they were like taking an hour, two hours to get back to me. And then all of a sudden I asked to see pictures of the mom and dad dog. I wanted to see the parents of the puppy. And then I'm like, well, do you have a phone number that we could discuss this? No, not, no phone number. You, you couldn't talk to them on the phone. Ooh, you couldn't talk to them on the phone, which I felt was really, really weird. Like, why can't I talk to you on the phone? I mean, what are you hiding? So, you know, no phone number to get a hold of them. Never asked, never answered me about what airline that they would be using, you know, because I wanted to see if our airport, because our airport is small and not every airline comes through to our airport. Like we're, it's a small airport. So, you know, no, no response to that. So then I got nervous and I told Stefano to stop the pay, just to stop it, not to let it go through. So then he had to call the fraud line and he was on that phone for like three hours with our bank just trying to get the payment stopped. Well, he got the payment stopped and they stopped it because they did, they've they also felt it was a fraudulent um, thing. So they said 80% of their fraud cases are, well, between 65 and 80%. In some like 2018 or 2019 was purchasing an animal online whether it be a cat or a dog or a bird or you know so that's a lot so they had all these tips on what to look for uh, so that you were not ripped off <laughs> so like we almost were like heartbreaking and you know especially since i told them that you know we had lost our dogs our sweet dogs you know and we've had our dogs forever like sassy was 15 i mean you know it it broke our heart and i just wanted to have another dog in the house i love dogs i want to have a dog that i can take for walks we can go on hikes with you know so stefano said that when he gets home, we will get a, we will get a puppy, and we will first we'll try to get a dog from the um, shelters. We we're gonna look there first, um, and you know go to all the no kill shelters that they have around here, um, because all the dogs that I see are all pit. No, I love pit bulls. I used to have a pit bull. My son has a pit bull. My daughter has pit bulls. So we're a family of pit bulls. I I trust them. It's the person, not the breed. Um, but they're all big is what I'm saying. They're already over two years old. So I don't know how well they will do with cats. And we have a lot of cats in here. And so I have to have concern for my cats. It doesn't just matter if it's a pit bull. It matters if the dog is over two. It's already ingrained into it, whether it likes cats or not, you know. So, and whenever I see not good with children, I'm thinking, oh, that dog's not good with other cats either. So, you know. Um, so I'm just keeping my eye out. It's, I mean, it's my, it's, you know, that, that's how I feel. If it says not go with children, it's not going to be good, you know, with especially cats smacking it in the face or hissing at it. You know, I, I just have to worry about my animals here. So, you know, the ones we already are taking care of. So, you know, and I know that people are going to be like, oh, you're getting a dog. Don't you have enough on your hands? Well, a dog is way different than a cat. You know, I, I mean, I have plans for the summer and, you know, we want to do things, go hiking and things. So I just want to include a dog into that. A dog will actually get me up and out of this house, up and out. So, you know, and it would be good to have a dog again. We haven't had a dog and a puppy in years, like nine years, 10, maybe 11 years. We haven't had a puppy. So, you know, but that's my story about almost getting scammed. My heart is broken now, I can tell you that, because I was I already had in my head all these plans going to Petco, Pet Smart, getting this, getting that. 
being excited like Stefano coming home and then that's having a puppy on top it'll be so perfect you know because he has he's gonna have a couple he's gonna have over a week off so before he goes to his new job so it would have just been perfect we would have all settled in at one time <laughs> so you know but that's my story all right guys so I guess I'm not gonna do a video tomorrow unless I just vlog for vlogging purposes um, just to show you what I'm doing because I'm really not doing much at all tell you the truth not doing much I've been watching a lot of videos <laughs> so all right guys I'm gonna let you all go my avocado is done I'm gonna have a little avocado and a little bit of steak and that is my dinner for the night all right I will see you all later like I always say somehow some way I'll have an amazing day you make your day amazing and together friends will have an amazing day I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.